everybody, this is Abubanare, what? And we're back here with Glory of Communism mod, and we're going to be wrapping up our 1960-1990 conquest with the USSR. Just made it to Spain. Gonna mop the floor with them. Gonna slap Brazil around a little bit. I don't know what they're doing over here. They thought they needed to, need to be up in the mix. They're gonna get slapped down for that. We need to finish kicking the shit out of the French. I can't believe they haven't gave up yet. And I think we took out the British, yeah. So anyways, bros. For the subs that are living here in the U.S., happy 4th of July. And uh, I guess for those living abroad who just don't like the English, think they're dicks or something, you guys suppose you can celebrate the 4th too, celebrate a defeat. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Boom, France, you're out of there. Took you out before you could give up. Finish that guy off. I, you know how I feel about generals on artillery. They must always get strafed oh two things gonna be throwing up a boat at the end of this so boing i don't actually know what i'm gonna put up uh, i'll have to look through i haven't looked usually what happens is i look through it before the last video so i know where i'm going this time and i think the last time i hadn't so I'll probably do what I did last time, pick two out of the, uh, the jar thingy for the original World Conqueror, and then I'll pick two of the requests from what you guys asked for World Conqueror Communist mod. I think, like, the big one that's been requested is, um... Oh, what am I missing? Colombia. Colombia. I also would like to play, um... Uh, Russia. In the Russia vs. US mode. But since I'm just playing Russia right now, and in my European War 5, somehow I ended up playing Russia too. So I got two games going on, both playing Russia. So I'm not going to throw Russia into that next vote. Because I just... Russia's been overdone here recently. It's, it's probably going to be the Columbia one, 39, and I don't know what else. I'll see what else has been requested a lot. Oh, and two! A big one! Finally reached 2,000 subs. A thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel and stayed along for the ride. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, I never got around. I know, bros. There, there's some of you out there that just gave up on me. They said I was going to make a 1K video. And, um,. I partially did it, and I never finished it. Honestly, though. Honestly, I did get started on it. I just... I never finished it. I, I don't know why. Now I'm at 2k subs. I should probably finish it and do it for 2k subs. Or we could just create some type of meme where I say I'm always going to do it, and I never end up doing it. Bros, I was almost gonna do it for 3k subs. Bro, be on the lookout for 4k sub video. 5k's is an important milestone. Be ready for that video. And they just never come. And um, on the Hearts of Iron 4 front...
All right, Brisbane, you're going to get some. Oh, Hearts of Iron Four, bros. Wow, um, I got stuffed by the Soviet Union. Let me tell you, they kicked my ass. But remember, this is just a learning, a, a learning um, episode, not episode, a learning run through of the game I'm doing. I'm trying to learn everything. Um, and I have, like, when I lost to him, I started searching a, a lot of different things. Um, as to, you know, why I lost and stuff I noticed that I knew you, you could for sure do better with. Like, a lot of my troops had attrition problems. I needed to attach logistical companies to them. I needed to keep up the infrastructure on the front line to get it more supplied. I didn't have the army wits right. Um, I generally just put too many men in an area. It's hard to get away from that. It's hard to... Because most games, it doesn't penalize you for just building this entirely huge, overly overwhelming army and just throwing it out at a front. Anybody who has played this game knows that this game will penalize you in the, in the form of your troops are lacking resources, attrition grows, you can't move, you can't attack, you can barely retreat. So yeah, I'm learning a shitload, more than I ever thought. I, more than I ever thought I could, I should, or would even want to. It's a lot more in-depth than I thought at the beginning. So luckily I saved it right before I got my ass kicked by them. So I'm going to do everything basically I just told you that I had done wrong and do it right and then hopefully after that I can start um, putting up some videos on it look I'm not gonna put up a video of Hearts of Iron 4 until I can I can beat it you know like I'm not gonna throw up some Germany conquest and I get my ass kicked I don't know Unless you guys want to see me get my ass kicked, I guess. I kind of like to have this invincibility about me in these war games. Although I did admit to getting my ass kicked by South Korea for a long time in this game before I could actually take it. And like I've said before, and I've said in the comments and I said in the video, there's a little bit of luck that goes along with South Korea too. I would say it's mostly tech level in generals, a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck. Strategy at the very first, uh, not too much, just survive, you know. After that initial push, then you need some strategy to uh, make sure they don't take all your shit back over again. Because there was times I would get pretty far on South Korea and end up losing. But yeah, also with Hearts of Iron 4 and my fighting of the Russians, I took too long to get it done. Because I was learning the game at the same time I was playing it, I think I'm in like 1950 something. I should have, you know, the Russians should have been taken out a you know 10 years ago in the game but i didn't do it because i was learning bros i don't know i don't know the game yet i don't know the mechanics i don't know the controls i don't know what it, all the stats do i don't know you know i gotta figure that shit out by the time i'm done bros i'm gonna be able to do like you know, um, how-to videos on Hearts of Iron 4. When once I was the watcher of the how-to videos, I will be the provider. Actually, that's, that's probably a long time off. 
I would not take advice from me in that game. Besides saying that you can't play it like you would normally play other games. It's too involved. And I don't like the Navy interface. It really, it bugs me. I've read other people don't like the Air Force interface. I, I like the Air Force interface. I don't like the Navy interface. Alright, Brazil. We must teach you a lesson. Thankfully, we got the leveled up commando units. We'll make short work of Brazil. And that general they always slap down there, thinking they're so badass. The general's gonna get wrecked. Is that just... Oh, well, I don't know. That actually does a decent amount of damage. Although, spending the exact same amount of money on paratroopers, I might have uh, got more bang for my buck. But since I've already started, I might finish it off with air power. Yeah, this bro is going down. With money to spare. Now, if that was the regular game, we'd have been screwed. We'd have spent a small fortune taking that guy out. Boom, Brazil got wasted. Came running up into Spain like you were going to throw down, and what happened? You got thrown down. Like a little bee. Nailed it. Damn. I always forget how much the long-range missiles cost in this mod. I mean, like I've said before, I completely agree with it because you get so much extra range. I, I agree with it costing a, almost a grand. But I do constantly forget about it. Bros. Boom, I'm what? 13 and a half minutes in? Have not complained about my eyes whatsoever. You know why? I don't got my contacts in. I, I'm in... in Desperate need of an eye appointment, though. I'm gonna set one up tomorrow. I gotta get in. Get me new contacts. I think that's the problem. I think I've just overused my contacts. They... They are... They're really overused. Like, a crazy amount past their shelf life. Their use life, I should say. I'm going to try and see if I can't pick up a cheap prescription of glasses. I'm pretty damn sick of contacts, to be honest with you. At some point, maybe get the LASIK. But for now, I'm going to throw on some glasses, probably. Alright, Australia. You're out of there. Australia. There's two types of people in this world. The ones that say Australia, and the ones that say Australia. I'm an Australia type of guy myself. And if I see you Australia bros out there, it's on. I mean, this is Crips and Bloods type of warfare. This is like France and Germany 1939 type. Don't, co don't come at me with your Australia. All right, Washington. The Washington group is the same as the Australia group, I think. I used to be... Um, well, I, I guess I still am. I just, I'm, I'm not employed as that. A mechanic. For a uh, trucking company. Well, it was Ryder Truck Rental. Back, uh, like, after it sold off those moving trucks, and it just handled maintenance for, like, semi trucks. Um, I was a maintenance guy. Worked that five years. Anyways, 
a lot of truck drivers talk like that. It was Washington. It wasn't Washington. It wasn't why like I, I, yeah, I took a load up to Washington. I took a load up to Washington. Colorado. Instead of Colorado. They had, a lot of them had their own type of lingo. Their own dialect. I actually really liked that job. That was a fun job. Like after the, I worked, I worked like every shift known to man at that job. The best was probably like the night shift. Although I liked, I liked working in the morning just to get it over with be home at in the evening but anyways the night shift there was like from 1 to 10 I think and the bosses would go home at 5 and after 5 we would like get out the football we'd play some football um, I remember playing baseball we played made up weird games we had somebody brought in a crap load of tennis balls and we played like dodgeball with tennis balls um, shit, I even brought in, I don't even know what system it would have been at that time. Nintendo, GameCube? What was before the GameCube? Nintendo 64? One of those. I, I don't remember which one it was. Anyways, we I had a, I just bought a wrestling game on it. <laughs> and the bosses would go home, we'd hook that bitch up to the TV and have like battle royales that lasted, you know, 45 minutes. I guess that's why I like the job. <laughs> Not because like the work was easy because there was no work. We just was not working after the bosses went home. Alright, Canada. I've got a surprise for you, bro. Boom! Victory 38 rounds! Damn, boy! Anyways, bros. With that, I'm gonna wrap this video up. And I will, uh, check out what there is to vote. And I will meet you back here in, like, just mere seconds. Alright, bros. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and draw two out of here. See what we get. We got a 75 bros. You guys have been wanting some aliens. There you have it. And we've got a 1943. All right, 43. Number 18 is Finland. Boom. Nailed it. 75, number 11. Is Japan. That is actually a good alien conquest. And for the Gloria Communism mod, I have it written down here somewhere. I didn't put them in the drawing, I just wrote them down here, which ones were getting the most requested. It looks like, let's do... Colombia 39 and Poland 1950. All right, bros, go ahead, get to voting. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the shit, like, and subscribe. I'll see you back here for the next upload. Peace, Ruminati.